Hey guys and welcome. In today's Photoshop video I'm going to show you how I created this uh, the frame effect with the shadow and the border around it. Um, you can add your image, um, you know, save it, uh, resize, save it as a JPEG or PNG file and you can showcase it on your uh, social media or websites. I just feel that it's a nice way of representing your work. It makes it stand out, makes it pop out a little bit. So before we get started, uh, don't forget if you're new to my channel to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon to be notified of more videos coming out soon. So here we go, I'm going to start off with a new um, file. I'm going to go file, new, and I use an A4 size. I'm going to start with the uh, landscape um, uh, orientation. You can use any size you want. Uh, like I said, I just started with the purpose of this video, I'm just using A4. I'm going to double click on this and unlock this. Sorry, not double click, one click. Then double click on the name and call it background. Oops, maybe I should spell that correctly. Background. Now I chose a gray, little gray background color to add to it. You can choose any color you wish. Then I'm going to add a white. Uh, box on top of the uh, background layer. I'll, I'll line it up soon. So there it is there. I'm going to double click on there and call it frame. Now I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to command click on the background layer. See the selection has happened because what I want to do is I want to uh, center the frame on the background layer. So I've highlighted, I've selected the frame layer, and I'm going to go to layer. Align layer to selection. I'm going to do the vertical center first. I'm going to do it again. Layer, align layer selection, horizontal center. And I'm going to Command D to unselect that background layer. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, duplicate the frame layer. So I'm going to go right click, duplicate layer, click OK. I'm just going to call this shadow. Double click on it. Oops. And double click here, I'm just going to take the word um, copy away. Now I'm going to right click on this and convert this to a, a smart object. Then I'm going to double click and add a color overlay of black. Now I'm going to add a blur to it. So I'm going to go filter, blur, glazing blur. Now I'm happy with that. So I'm going to leave it at 45. Click OK. Now I'm going to edit transform warp I'm going to bring the corners down to, to uh, you know down out and down and out I should say both both the corners to the bottom corners just uh, visually trying to make it line up uh, obviously when you come to do your one just take your time I'm going to bring the rest in with so there's less shadow going around around the um, frame and the main shadow is at the bottom here, this bit here. Click OK, see how that comes out. Yeah, I'm happy with that. But like I said, you know, take your time, line up, make sure everything is lining up when you when you do your own version of this. Now the frame layer, this is where I'm going to add my image. So I'm going to right click, convert to smart object. Then I'm going to double click within the smart object. It will open up a new tab. I'm going to zoom out a bit. This is where I'm going to drop my image. So I'm just going to drop this in here. Shift expand it out so it fills the entire um, cancel frame. Click OK. Then click the X and click on Save. And there it is. There it's dropped it in that frame. Now I can choose to leave it like this, or I can choose to add the frame around the image. So I'm just going to double click on the frame layer and enable stroke make sure it's inside about 85 you can choose whatever size you like white you can choose whatever color you like to and click ok and that's it that's the simple um, landscape version of it now you can change the background to any color you want like i said you can do a color overlay here like that i'm just going to remove that for now you can change the frame color to a black color. And that's what the black one looks like, but I'm not going to do that for now. I'm just going to cancel that. You can also add uh, maybe a shine effect. So I'm going to use the pen tool to create or to draw a 
a triangle like this I'm going to change it to a soft light and bring it down to about a 30 to give you that little uh, shine effect happening you don't need to have that of course that's like I said the landscape version now I'm going to do the portrait version which again I'm going to go file new choose A4 and I'm going to use uh, the portrait orientation click create click on the lock unlock it double click on the layer name and then change it to background fill it with a color now I'm going to add a white frame I will line it up uh, I'm going to double click on this and oops, double click on this and call it frame Control D on the background so I can line it up, line the frame up, make sure the frame layer is selected. Layer, line laser selection, vertical center. Um, again, layer, align laser selection, horizontal center. Uh, control D, then select. Like I said, I'm rushing through this very quickly for the purpose of this video, but when it comes to do your one, just take your time and you know set out everything as to your liking. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to right click duplicate layer. I'm going to the the, the bottom layer, the new uh, the new layer that I created here. I'm going to call it double click. I'm going to call it shadow. Uh, the top layer, the copy one. I'm going to remove the word copy. You don't have to. I just want to make it all nice and you know look good. <laughs> Um, then I'm going to uh, uh, click on the shadow layer, right click, convert to smart object, then double click on it, add a, a black uh, overlay color, then go to filter, blur to add the shadow. I'm going to leave the same 45, again you can choose whatever you, uh, to your liking by just moving this. I'm going to keep it at 45, click OK, then edit, transform, warp, again the corners uh, to the side and down, to the side and down, and then moving the, sh uh, moving the corners of the sides and the top, so there's not much of a shadow on the sides and the top, and the shadow is mainly in this bottom area here, um, just going to go this way a little bit. Again, I'm doing this visually. Um, you, you know, take your time when it comes to do your one. Click OK. Yep, for the purpose of this, I like that. Now I'm going to add my image to this uh, frame. Right click, convert to a smart object first. Then double click the smart object. Now I'm going to drop in an image. Uh, uh, this one here. Fill the whole frame or canvas click OK click the X save and there it is there now double click on the frame to add the border stroke again choose whatever size you like I'm just gonna keep it at 85 click OK that's it guys that's how simple it is uh, to create uh, these nice um, frame effects to you know showcase your work like I said before, it makes it makes your work pop out a bit more, make it stand out a bit. Um, I hope you got something out of this. Um, don't forget to comment. Let me know. I like to see your your attempts at this. I like to see your work as well. So just yeah, comment below. Give us your links. Also, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. It really helps uh, within uh, YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys.